January 12, Sunday, Feast of the Baptism of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me? Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now. For thus, it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water and behold, the heavens were opened for him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord This is my beloved son. The father speaks to the crowds interested in the baptism of John. He affirms that the one whom John has hesitantly just baptized is his beloved son, very pleasing to him. His description has been anticipated in the book of Isaiah chapter 42. He is the one on whom his spirit rests and will bring justice to the nations. There should be no mistaking as to who Jesus is aside from being known as a preacher. Jesus does not have to prove himself, as prophesied by Isaiah. He will not make noise about himself. God has done it already. Jesus will exercise patience in dealing with the weak and those who are faltering. What we should do is interpret well the meaning of the Father's voice. We have to listen to His Son and to take seriously His teachings. God demands docility. The Father's claim is backed up by the heaven's opening, the Spirit of God in the form of a dove descending on Him. Yet, as we follow the story, many will want to have proofs to believe in Him or in the Father and end up killing Him. For many people, God's claim does not matter anymore. They deny outright the existence of God. Religion is irrelevant for them. They do not feel the benefits of having faith because no one shares with them the authentic one. Peter is different. He shares with the people his faith in the mystery of Jesus. Through Jesus, God has proclaimed peace to the Israelites working many wonders right after Jesus' baptism, healing the sick and casting out demons. Jesus is God's beloved Son, and Peter and his colleagues are the witnesses of all these. For us who have retained our faith, we take extra efforts to communicate who Jesus is to us, not only in our liturgical celebrations, but also in our lifestyle and in the way we conduct our affairs in the secular world. Let us courageously tell the world that like Christ, we are willing to take on sufferings without complaining, and that like the apostles, we testify that Jesus is God's beloved Son, and we too, in spite of our sinfulness, are saved by Him. <music>